Alright, just like the first one. If you, you can dislike this video, you can disagree with my opinion, you can hate what I'm about to say. Just remember, the word unpopular is in the title of this video. So, I'm going to try and make this one relatively quick, but I'm sure a bunch of people are going to be flabbergasted with what I'm about to say. Um, if any of my very old, old YouTube subscribers by any chance watch this, um, they'll probably already know it. But, my Final Fantasy favorite is Final Fantasy XII. And before I go into it, I completely understand why Final Fantasy VII would be your favorite. Uh, Final Fantasy, I understand why Final Fantasy VIII would be your favorite. Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy um, three and six. There's so many great stories and great titles that um, connect with different people in different ways, and I completely understand what your favorite would be. Trust me. With number twelve, though, for me, uh, not only was it there during a uh, rough time in my childhood, but uh, it, it was one of the first encapsulating games for me. It was like the complete package. Um, the graphics were amazing. I, I couldn't believe that something like this on the PS2 could happen. Um, the environments were lush and amazing. And every time I went to a new area, I was stunned by what I was seeing. Whether it was a barren, you know, mountain wasteland or a snowy area or a, a fall type area with a bunch of foliage and rain, and and it was everything was just so beautiful. Plus, for me, like, being able to control things, this Final Fantasy had the ability to choose what enemies you would battle. So I didn't have to, you know, play Pokemon and be like, ah, oh, goddamn, another battle, I don't want this, I just want to go to here to explore, just go to here to see what's over there, you know, not have to worry about battling. So I loved the fact that it did that, not only because it gave me a choice, but because I could just zip right onto the next area, get my ass spanked by a boss, and be like, okay, 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 I'm going to go grind so, uh, a minute now. Which leads me into my next point, where the, the bosses were so unique and fluid, where you had to use different techniques, but in a good way. You didn't have to completely overhaul your system to be able to do something. You just had to switch a weapon here and there, or grind out this ability, but it wasn't detrimental to my point of, okay, this is getting annoying, I don't want to do this, let's not do this. Uh, well, a good example is with Final Fantasy XII's um, desert area, where you were going to that temple to get your very first Esther, or um, summer, Summon, and basically you walk down through a ravine, and then you come across an area with a bunch of pillars, and I'm like, okay, this is definitely a boss area, but I've been spending my time in this desert beating up a bunch of low-level enemies to the point where I was a pretty high level. And then all of a sudden, this like flying bird, huge bird comes out of nowhere, and I'm like, well, shit, I have no ranged weapons, I have no bow and arrows, I have no spears, what the hell am I going to do? Got my ass handed to me, I'm like, alright, going to go and buy some uh, ranged weapons and, you know, get those leveled up. Not to mention the music, oh my god, the music was amazing, I mean, just listen to this. <laughs> Every time I booted up this game, it was, I was taken away, I was taken to another world. And uh, lastly, one of the complaints was the story. Um, my opinion on that is, just because there weren't any giant asteroids falling from the sky, or the world ending by a mad clown, or um, being this, you know, point A to point B magical quest, I, Final Fantasy XII for me was perfect. It had... This whole political intrigue, it was like a war between nations, there was like this whole conspiracy underneath it with um, like the, you know, the guards, the judges, um, it, the whole Bosch having a twin brother type thing that framed him, it just, it, it wove this political conspiracy, otherworldly, I don't even know what to say, like, ca ca like chaos. 
And you, for me, I wanted to solve this. I wanted to see what was happening. All these people have been hurt. All these people have been killed under the guise of legality. No, I need to get in here and fix this. And the, and my favorite, though, was people saying, well, why is one of the main party members, Vaughn, even there? And I'm like, okay, he wanted to be uh, a pirate, okay? He wants to be an air pirate. He, get, he goes to do this thing, he gets caught up with a real air pirate, and then once he uh, helps them escape, and also himself for his own life, then Pinello finds out, and she's all excited, all aboard, she wants to do this, she wants change, and then at that point, Vaughn's like, okay, the person I probably have a crush on is interested, I've always wanted to be an air pirate, this air pirate is doing stuff, and we had this awesome, intense situation where we had to escape together, let's go on an adventure. That made perfect sense to me, and I don't understand why people didn't get it. <laughs> that is my rant or unpopular opinion. Um, do let me know what your favorite Final Fantasy VII is. As I mentioned before, I'll probably understand plenty why it is. Um, as usual, thank you everyone for watching.